today's video. Today's video is about the Oakview Gazebo, and the gazebo is sometimes referred to as the Summer House. The gazebo was built at Oakview in the 1910s, and it was built out of unworked red cedar logs. In early 2013, a beech tree actually fell on top of the gazebo. So later that year, um, in 2014, it was reconstructed and it was built um, from the same material and in the same color scheme as the original structure. So that's the gazebo that we have today. In the 1900s, the Wyatt family was the owning Oakview, but they did not live here. They ran Oakview as a farm, so they hired a farm manager who lived in the main house with their family and the farm manager oversaw the system of farm laborers and tenant farmers who were working the land at that time. And even though the Wyatt family lived in downtown Raleigh, they still came out to Oakview on the weekends and used it as a weekend retreat. So we have lots of photographs of the Wyatt family having picnics out here and using the gazebo. And we know the farm manager's family used it as well. We have photographs from that as well. So the gazebo was built during this time that there were a bunch of different people from landowners to farm managers to tenant farmers and farm laborers all uh, living and working and interacting with the land in very different ways. Here's what the gazebo looks like uh, on the inside. You can see uh, its approximate location. That's the carriage house to the left and then the tenant house to the right. And it's actually located uh, kind of right in front of the main farmhouse as well. So once you walk in, you can see um, that there are benches all around and you see the posts. Um, and definitely when you come in and visit, look up because you get to see the really cool details of that building construction um, with the unworked red cedar logs. The hidden history that I would like to point out today is something that's so hidden, it's pretty much completely gone. And that is, we know from oral history interviews uh, from granddaughters of Job Wyatt, as well as descendants from the farm managers, um, George Williams and James Jones, there used to be a uh, large boxwood hedges that were cut to be the shape of an O and a V. And from what we can tell, they were located uh, kind of right behind me in the, the lawn of the main house, uh, also near the gazebo. Now the O and the V of course refer to the name Oakview and that name actually dates to the Wyatt era as well in the 1900s. And our records tell us that that name came from uh, several large oak trees that used to line the entrance drive into the farm. And though we no longer have that original entrance drive and we no longer have the large oak trees, we still have that name that refers back to that part of its history. And we know that these hedges were actually quite large. When asked about the size of them, descendants remembered that the O was large enough that they could ride a horse um, in the inside of it. So they were pretty large um, and were a great mark on, on the landscape as well. The reality is uh, for most of its life, the farm uh, was just referred to by the name of the family that owned it. Um, so the Williams Farm, the Wyatt Farm, the Poole Farm, um, and that name Oakview didn't really come uh, into use. It came into use around the 1900s. So then when this became a public park, uh, that name Oakview was chosen to refer back to that part of its history as well. But uh, my favorite quote about the naming of Oakview comes from Greg Poole, who did an oral history. Um, he lived here when he was a child in the 1940s. And when asked what the name of the farm was, whether they called it the Wyatt Farm or the Poole Farm, uh, he said, well, we just called it home. Uh, so that's a great reminder that uh, this is a public park today, but it was a home for so many different people um, who had different relationships to the, to the land and the structures and the buildings um, for a really long history as well. So we actually still have uh, smaller hedges that are shaped in the name of an O and V, so I'm going to point those out to you as well. We have these hedges that are in the shape of an O and a V, and that refers back to those hedges that we had on the lawn, um, as well as Oakview's name as well. And these are located close to the gazebo, so next time you are at our park, uh, see if you can find them. Thanks so much for following along with today's video, and have a great day.